Okay, how is this growing? <gasps> it's got a bucket of ichor or ichor. Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of One Life and what could very much possibly be the last one. I'm terrified. What we are doing today, as you can tell by the title, is we're going back to the nether. And you're wondering why I'm doing that. Now, the reason is I didn't get something I realised I needed. So, there's been some improvements on the house. We have like the chest room, the enchanting room, a brewing stand room, and then down here we have a trophy room for my trophies and a farm. I was streaming over at twitch.tv slash smajor1995. We built this. It's super cute. Now, the reason we're going back into the nether is I grabbed some nether wart, not thinking much of it. Like a normal Minecraft server, it should grow. But it doesn't, because we have a stupid mod on here that has forced me to go back to the nether. So to grow nether wart, I need a golden bone hole, which I already have one wither bone, I need two wither bones. And then I also need to get a bucket of ichor, ichor, and that just spawns in the nether. So I've got five buckets and we're gonna go and attempt to go and get this. I don't have enough gold to make another golden apple. So we're going in with the two golden apples we had and a regen potion. I am terrified. I do not want to do this, but if I want to be able to make potions on this series, I'm going to need to do it. It's not ideal, but it's going to be required. Now also the hope is that if I go here, other people also will not have thought of this. So they will need nether work which then means I can sell it okay shaders is off now I have no idea if I can place my bucket in the nether I'm hoping I can but I'm also hoping that I shouldn't ever need to find out I'm just terrified of like an ember coming out of nowhere and picking me like I have fire protection three but I mean it's not amazing there's a weather skeleton can I shoot it and see if it drops a bone to know whether it's worth to go down <laughs> I don't think it dropped one. I'm actually so terrified. Okay, we're just gonna run across. I wanna go a bit closer to check if he did drop a bone. Cause if he did, that saves me a heck of a lot of time. Oh, he dropped two. Okay, that does save me a lot of time. I just need Iker, Iker, Wicker, Ficker, Flicker. I don't know how you pronounce it. And I do not really care. I just want him. I know from past experiences, I have found it in or around nether fortresses that's a lot of places that I don't want to deal with. I just need some red blood looking liquid. Has anyone got any red blood looking liquid? It's not my blood. Hello? Why is there doors here? Why does that one have a giant squid hat? Oh there's so many of them. It's a good thing I have infinite arrows. No. No. Oh Jesus I nearly attacked a pikeman. I don't know why I play one life. I'm far too anxious. Okay we're okay. What is in this door? Shovel's blaze farm. Oh Okay. See, in my head, I don't think I'm going to be able to place my regen bucket down because it's water. <gasps> Ow! You did not! You bism! What's up here? I see some salamanders, which I'm not going to attack. The annoying thing is, I think everyone has done all the reps. Is that more nether wart? I'm going to go and get that. Because, I mean, if I get it, I get more. Don't mind me. Okay, how is this growing? <gasps> it's got a bucket of ichor or ichor. I mean, I don't know whose this is. But I am going to take it because I need it. And they've left it out here in the nether for some reason. If y'all can let me know whose that was, I can see about returning it. But at the moment, we go make a getaway. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. There's the portal. I'm a man with a will to live and a means to escape. I'm going for it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There was no sign saying that that bucket of Iker belonged to anyone. So it is now mine. Gosh dang it, Lauren. Every time. You're just adding to more reason as to why you are the worst. I am so stressed. But yeah, we managed to get the bones that we needed. I managed to get a bucket of Iker. Again, don't know if that was placed by someone or not. Part of me feels like it was because it was such an odd place. But then part of me feels like it wasn't because who the heck would still grow nether wart in the nether? Psychopaths. Psychopaths do that. But it's fine. I'm sure in the comment section you've all already shouted at me telling me who it belonged to and that you hate me. But to make it up to you, I did build a really cute rainbow bridge over this gap. Look how cute this is. It's so pretty and pastel and colourful. We love it. Okay, so we're going to just break this and then... I need to go and make a bone hole because you know that's exactly what I thought I'd be doing. So then I also need to get all of that and then I need to hoe this. Okay and then I need to put a bucket of ichor in there. Then we can plant our nether wart. Oh my goodness one's already grown. What? No it's not growing fully. I've lied to myself. Right well this can be my potion related items. Oh, I'm still so so stressed. And now 
I hopefully won't ever need to go back there. I have quite a bit of glowstone still. Maybe not an awful lot, but you only need like one bit per potion or per three potions. So that's fine. Oh, will you grow quick? Damn. I also want to heal myself, but I don't want to like ruin all my torches. So we'll go out here. Perfect. I've also been breeding more of my cows and my sheep just so that I can hopefully kill a lot of them when I need to make my protection upgrades. So I think I'm just going to do like a general shop selling a bunch of different things rather than a themed shop because doing the concrete shop really limited me to like what I could sell after people stopped needing concrete. I was kind of like, well, big rip. So I think I'm going to sell some nether wart now that I'm able to grow it. I'm also going to sell my mangrove saplings because not everyone's found that biome just yet. So I could make some monies off of that. So if I've got anything else you think I could sell, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, I almost already have a stack, which is insane. It grows really quickly. I will definitely be just keeping an eye on that, maybe AFK for a bit later on and just mine it up. I could like try mass producing it, but I'm not sure how far the bucket reaches. Like if it's like water, I don't know how far it goes. But I mean, this seems to be working fairly efficiently. Now I do want to make some more glass bottles because I can make my first potion now. There is some water down here. I need to take off my boots every time I go near my farm because I just freeze it. Okay, so we'll pop that in there. We'll pop one nether wart in and then I'm going to need to go and get blaze powder as well. And then I need to go and get glistening melon, which I have somewhere, and then glowstone to make it into tier two. So we'll pop a glistening melon in. I'm also going to just pop some water bottles on these shelves just to fill it up because it looks cute. And this should make health potions. And then if I put glowstone in, it should turn it into a potion of healing too which will be much better because now if I ever need to go back to the nether I will have more health potions. I don't know if the bucket would work. Potion of instant health. Perfect. We'll pop these on this shelf and I'll do potions that I've got on that side, water bottles and I will pop some nether wart there just in case I need it. Well I mean I'm going to need it. Okay, we're done with the brewing section today. That's perfect. I also do need to make more red and blue for in here. I think I've been smelting green. I have. I've just sort of been doing that every time I pass. And do I have any red dye? I have a little bit. I must have some rose red flowers outside. I can just go and bone meal a bunch. I normally tend to plant them just outside my house. Like I did here. I'm smart. Okay, we'll make that into rose red, pop that in, pop that in, and look, I can make things. Okay, I want to see because there are new things from when I was here. There's like a vanity mirror, bathroom, I'm like it's a bunk bed, I'm dead. There is a really cute set of tables that I adore. Look at all of these restaurant tables, but these are so cute. Like if I just get a little line table, like look how cute it'd be if I put a little thing there and then a little chair there and a little chair there. That's adorable, except it's annoying me because it does something weird to the windows. But it just looks so cute, how can I not? I could put them like that, but that looks weird. Why would you do that? I mean, you don't really notice it too much. Like from here, it just looks adorable. Or maybe I'd be better with like bibliocraft chairs. Is there other chairs? Can I just make chairs? I can, I can make spruce chairs. Spruce chairs might match better because like the table legs are quite dark. Do I have spruce wood though? I have one piece, right. We're going out in search of spruce wood. All of this for a chair. Y'all can't say I don't commit to interior design. Also, we're in September and I was ready for cute sweaters and cuddling my soft toys under a blanket because I'm alone. And it's like 26 degrees. I am done with summer. Summer can leave. Summer, please go away. I want autumn. Or for American people, I want fall. Okay, if we chopped in this big tree, we'll have enough. The other thing I do want to find is a lavender field. Now, I know Lizzie lives in one. I'm just not sure where. Whoa, there's so many cute trees over there. What? Okay, I think Lizzie lives this direction. I think Noodles has changed his base from a small wooden shack to whatever this is. I'm just very confused, honestly. Okay, so Joel lives over there. Lizzie lives more south. If anyone's wondering, I've just got the coordinates for her base and I'm trying to find it because I know she lives in slash near Lavender Field. And Lavender Fields are really good for the deco bench because they give purple dye. And purple dye puts up your red and your blue count. And are 200 blocks south and I should see it. Because that's Shelby's house up there. I should probably waypoint all of these things. Oh wait, <gasps> there it is. Okay, I see it. Oh, and there's boats. 
Hello! What? There's so many flowers. I don't really want to take them from inside her area because everyone will get mad at me. This is cute. Okay, I see you. Right, can I get out this side of her house? And there's more lavender behind it. Perfect. It's a win-win situation. I can mark Ozzy's place on the way home and I can get as many lavender flowers as I want. And I'm not going to just clear an entire area. I'll take like bunches from different places. That way it doesn't make one area bald. This biome goes on for ages. It's perfect. Okay, I have enough lavender flowers that should last me forever. Thank you very much, Lizzie, for living near one of these biomes. I will return the boat back to where you had it before, which was just over here. This is a smart idea, just having boats at the other side, because it means people don't need to try and make them to get to you. And it's quite a long distance to build a bridge. It might look a bit weird. I mean, I can also just have a snoop at Shelby's house while I'm here. It'd be rude not to. Oh my goodness, I actually love this. She's used like a healing water thing to get up and down to her house. I'm dead. This is my level of extra that I appreciate. I'm into it, Shelby. I love how I originally came out here for spruce wood to make a chair. That was my goal, a chair. We're gonna eventually see about making like we had last season where everyone either has like concrete paths to each other or like a rail system would be good. Something to just go between people's houses rather than having to run. I also will eventually need to go in and replace all of these fences with mangrove because the birch was just until I found mangrove. So that will need to get swapped out. So I can turn another couple stacks of these into dye. Pop it in there and just fill her up. So now the only thing I need to worry about is clay and more green. But outside of that, we're sorted. Okay, so let's make ourselves a chair. We've got two spruce chairs. I'm hoping these kind of match and don't do the weird window thing. <gasps> They're cute. The wood kind of matches like that wood. It doesn't do the weird thing with the window. You can actually sit on it. I have died. I'm so excited when we do a decorating episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of One Life. If you did remember to leave a like, we managed to go to the nether again and not die, which was nice. We managed to find a thing we needed to grow our nether warts. We can start getting on that. We managed to find a cute seat, fill up a bit of our deco bench. It was a productive episode. It means I can also set up for like next episode, maybe making a shop, an episode after that, maybe decorating the house. We have plans. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you do not miss an episode and I will see you all next time. Bye!